Okay, so what we're going to do here... What the hell? Zombie Exploder. Uh... What happens if I shoot him in the head? Oh no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Raven Earth. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to do some more POIs, but <clears throat> I'm going to spend uh, the night, it's almost nighttime, uh, doing some more work on the base, uh, which I will, of course, do off camera, but there's a couple things I wanted to show you first. Um, so, first of all, I can't make the motorcycle because uh, it requires the mechanics workbench uh, to make... Um, uh, no, not that one. Hold on a sec. Motorcycle... Just the normal motorcycle parts um, requires the mechanic workbench. So that's out of the question until we get uh, intellect uh, leveled up so we can actually make the mechanic workbench. Uh, so we're going to be stuck with the mini bike for a little while longer, but that's just the way it goes. Um, I think I already pointed out to you guys that I can't make the rain catcher uh, until I have the level four and living off the land. So we got to get that going. Uh, I do, however, have the ability to make a gumbo stew. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Um, turn this thing on and... All right, now what's the matter? We got... Oh, we have to use a stove for this. Holy crap, man. Ravenhurst roadblocks. Ravenhurst frickin' roadblocks. That's what these are called. These are called Ravenhurst roadblocks. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't even do that either. All right. Well, at least we can make uh, hobo stew uh, in the cooking pot. So, you know, that's our, our main high-level dish um, that will be sustaining us for quite some time. I'm just waiting for the garden to finish um, ripening, which is it's just about ready to. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you on camera, um, is I, I made a new steel pick. So it's a light blue level now, which it holds three... It uh, has three mod slots, but I, I don't have another mod to put in at the moment. So hopefully we'll come across another mod that would work in there, like an uh, Iron Breaker or Bunker Buster, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I want to make some pallets because I'm having some serious storage issues with all the stone that I'm getting. And I did, I've been even throwing some of the stone out, but I just don't want to do that because, you know, we need it eventually, right? Uh, so let's, let's look at this. So uh, we need 10 wood and four nails to make a pallet. So let's just make one to start with, and then we'll kind of see, you know, what it's all about. So we got 10 wood there, uh, four nails. That's going to take 23 seconds. And then to make a pallet of stone, we need 2,000 stone. So let's just grab 2,000 stone there. That seems... It doesn't really seem like a whole lot, though, actually. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, okay, here, well, let's just make it and see. Because basically, we're saving ourselves, by doing this, we're saving ourselves three slots in the storage bin, since 2,000 stone takes up four slots. But I guess, you know, I guess it's like really cheap to make those. So I, I guess I can see the benefit of doing this. Um, so we can pick it up and then if we needed to use it, do we scrap it? Equip recipes, small stone. recipes craft okay okay so that gives us the 2000 stone back i got you okay so um i don't know you guys this saves us three slots in the storage bin but it takes up the entire space of a storage bin so from a space perspective i'm not convinced that this is worth doing uh, you know if you were in a base with limited amount of space why take up an entire box area to save three slots? Yeah, I'm 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 not convinced. 
I'm not convinced that that's worth doing. I think that I, I like the idea of this, but I think that it should hold way more than 2,000 stone to, to really be worthwhile because, you know, again, uh, it, it, the when you're talking about economy of space, especially if you were in a small base, this is not worth doing. Absolutely not worth doing, in my opinion. Um, because think about it, too. We can make um, a storage bin, um, you know, like it uh, doesn't matter. Um, takes the same amount of wood. Takes a few more nails, but who cares? I mean, nails are such an easy thing to make. And, you know, brass hinges, which are a little harder to come by, but not too terribly hard. You know, you just got to be taking doors apart. So I, I don't think, I don't find this worthwhile. You, if you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comments, but you better give me a damn good argument why you think this is a better idea, because uh, at, at this point, <laughs> I'm not convinced. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. Well, anyways, we gave it a try, so we kind of know what the deal is with that. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is cut the camera here. And I'm going to go, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go check the garden and see if it is ready. And if it is, I'm going to harvest that, replant it, finish the seeds that I need to do. If it's not, then I'm just going to go uh, work in the uh, on the horde base because I still have a bunch of stone that I need to carve out. And uh, that's just a really good thing to do at night, especially as you know when I get deeper down. Um, the zombies generally can't detect you after you get deep enough anyways. Uh, but let's just run down here really quick and see how the garden's actually doing. If this is ready, like I said, I'd like to work on this first. But no, nah, it doesn't look like it all is. It's getting really close, though. It's getting really close. Okay, well, probably tomorrow, um, during the day, it'll be ready to go. I'm thinking, uh, you know, by the end of the night, hopefully. So, all right, well, I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm going to head over to the Horde base and just keep digging out the stone, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, and then we'll go hit some more POIs. All right, guys, it is morning. Uh, I went back down and checked the garden, and it was uh, still not quite ready. So uh, what we're going to do is grab everything out of here, go sell, and then turn in our quest, and then take the next, uh, the next quest from the trader. Got a little bit more digging done last night. So just, you know, continuing to work on it. Uh, by the way, my brain was not quite firing on all cylinders <laughs> when I was talking about the pallets. It saves us three, uh, four spaces, not three spaces. So I know some of you are probably going to point that out in the comments. But yeah, it's, uh, it's actually four pa face, bleh, spaces that it saves. But I still don't think it's um, still don't think it's really worth it, to be honest with you. But anyway, OK. So let's see. That'll That's 509 coin. That would be really nice to have, though. The magazine extender mod. Um, we can make the bandages. I think I think we're gonna go with this, though, just because we could sell it for so much. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take a look at your inventory, and we're gonna sell uh, this and all of this. Um, I think I actually have a purple pink or purple bowl would even better than this in you know back at the base anyways if we ever started using those again which i probably won't i've always preferred the crossbow in this game anyway but uh we'll hang on to it for now okay so i think we've already looked at this guy's inventory let me just check it again really quick um i wouldn't mind getting another mod for the pick but uh not quite at the point yet where i want to just start spending money left and right though either you know so uh just taking a quick look some of this stuff i sold to him okay let's look at his sacred again he's got the pump shotgun schematic um i wonder though i i just don't know if we can make this or if we need some kind of stupid ass special workbench to do it um Plus the fact that blood, stranger. we probably can't even tell at this point. Yeah, we probably can't even tell at this point, you know, what that's. Oh, no, that's for this. That's for the schematic, not the actual shotgun itself. Does it tell us here? Workbench. Oh, OK. So, yeah, we can barely make an orange one right now with our current skill. Uh, but at least we can do it in the workbench, so that's good to know. I think I'm going to wait on that, though. 
I'd like to get my skill up a little bit more so I can make make a little bit nicer one. All right, let's go back to your inventory and uh, just finish looking at it here. Oh, I guess I can make the ergonomic grip. That's good to know. It's just hard to remember everything that you've looted in the past, you know. And iron sledgehammers. Okay, looks like there isn't really anything else um, we want to yeah, we buy from him. What you're looking for, we can get it, get it. <laughs> okay, so let's um, take a look at jobs. We only want tier two. Um, there's a fetch and clear right in town here. Nice. Um, 172 uh, meters, house old pyramid. Yep, yeah, let's do it. You're interested. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. I would not do that for just anyone, Crater Bob. But I will do it for you. Okay, so we've already done this house once. We'll probably just speed run through it again. Um, and, you know, get, get the goodies from it. So let's do it. That was exciting. We almost got out of range range of the quest, too. We've got an abrasion, so let's take this to fix that. Uh, or at least reduce the, the time that we have to deal with it. Okay. And uh, let's see, we'll toss this, and I'm going to keep everything else. But since we're right next to the bike, we might as well uh, put it all back in there, uh, including the money, because I doubt we're going to find a vending machine in this house. Okay, let's try this again. Man, got rushed big time there. It's too bad we couldn't loot the pallets, you know, for resource. I mean, you can, but you don't get hardly anything from them. It's ridiculous. It's a joke, man. It's a freaking joke. All right, what's in here? Looks like we got a sports bag. Still need jars. Uh, yeah, we'll take that too. We should take that too. Okay, let's check these cupboards. Okay, we got a Zeke right there. And a wolf. I guess. Oh. What? Holy shit! That was a freaking direwolf right in our face. Man! I'll tell you what! This mod is dangerous. Okay, I hear more wolves. I think that one's coming from outside, maybe? Oh no! We have, <laughs> have such terrible automatic skill. Oh, man, that took forever to kill him. We need to start using this more. Um, it's the only way we're going to get the skill up, you know what I mean? It's the only way we're going to get the skill up. Okay. Okay. Now, we got somebody going nutso up there. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's get Lucky's on. I Oh, shit. Another dog. I don't feel safe, man. I really don't. I feel super vulnerable right now. Okay. Um, let's harvest this. Okay, let's get back in the corner so we can watch what's going on. I'm going to put the, I guess I already put the luckies on, so let's see what's in this bag here. All right. Take that. Okay. Are we, are we good? Everything, everything uh, okay at the moment? <laughs> Jeez. We're going to have to repair this shotgun pretty soon. Okay. Let's proceed with caution. I thought I heard another another dog oh 
what I was going to also do, too, is um, put those down there so we can block doorways as needed. There is a cooler in here and a purse, it looks like. That was scrap for paper. Okay, is that all that's in there? All right. Um. Oh shit. <sighs> Ravenhurst. <laughs> the armor on those dogs is insane. It's just absolutely impenetrable. Impenetrable. Well, at least it is when you have low skills like I do. Well, shit. All right. Um, let's go get our stuff. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get to it without too much problem. This is crazy, you guys. I'll tell you what, man. Ravenhurst is no joke. Just no joke. I probably should have gone back outside and took, you know, taken care of the other dog because I heard another dog, but I, I just, I didn't occur to me that it might be an armored dog, you know. Well, that quest is screwed. Let's just see if we can get our stuff without dying. Um, and it should have at least reset the fat loots too. I'm guessing so. Hope that little bastard's not still down here. Okay, for Pete's frickin' sake, man. So much for that quest. Uh, let's see if we can get to the fat loots at least. Um, and most likely those are going to be in the attic, I guess. So we're going to just cheese it because I don't want to <laughs> take any more chances. Holy crap, okay. Um, let's just get some frames going here. Can you imagine trying to play this game uh, as a permadeath? That would be so damn hard. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say impossible, but damn near, you know. All right, let's pop pop a hole in here. Got a garment bag. Nice find. I'll take that. Um, is it better than what we have though? I don't actually think it is because we've got the we got a red scrap helmet. No, I, I mean not in terms of armor, so we'll probably just sell it. Alright, can we um Why that didn't get their attention the first time, God only knows, right? Okay. Okay, I gotta see what's going on here. So we got a naked guy and an Arlene. Let's work on getting some more 762 points.
Oh, she's feral. No wonder she's taking so long to kill. Okay. Let's do some loot ski in. Take both of those things. I already checked the garment bags that were back in here. There's a fat guy there. Oh, that's pretty decent loot overall. I'll take it. I don't think there's Zeekers in here. Could be. Actually, there might be. Let's get this ready. Yeah, there's one. Just a normal Darlene. Okay, we already have Lucky's on, so let's see what we get here. Little Amyo Nishin. Nice. We'll put that down there for emergencies. And, uh... Did we get, like, denied the fat loots because we failed the quest? Is that, what, is that what's going on here? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe that is. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess that's it. So let's um, get back out this way. I don't want to waste time fighting any more Zeeks because um, I want to get started on another quest. Hopefully we won't die this time. He runs away. Come on back, Wolfie. Hey! Cut that shit out. Oh, boy. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I was getting... Uh, or I was trying to put some stuff in here, so let's once again turn these into bones. Now, I want to check in the garage here, too, really quick before we leave. Okay, we got a cheerleader. There's a couple of tool cases which might net us a uh, repair kit or something. Nurse Nancy. Nothing. Oh, shit. Big mama. All right. Um, let's take the door down at least and see if we can get a hinge. Uh, you know what? I want to check the kitchen, too, for jars, so... All right, let's try this again. Uh, we're going to sell these things to him first. Gratitude and safe travels, And friend. then uh, jobs. Okay, so we've got a fetch that's to the north of us and a buried supplies, which is here in town. 
Oh, okay. I'm going to knock out the buried supplies really quick, and then we'll go get the other one. Okay, so that part about uh, doing the buried supplies quest really fast. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is freaking five o'clock in the afternoon, you guys. I it literally found this in the last freaking place that I looked. It's just I, I even broke my shovel and had to, you know, go all the way back to the base and get a new shovel because it just it never takes me this long to find these things. And anyway, we finally found it. So it is um, right here underneath this this boulder. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I guess it just takes a while. So let's grab what's in here and then get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, uh, rifle parts. Got some steel and some iron knuckles, so not too bad. Okay, let's get out of here. Go back, turn this in, and see, um, you know, what we can do. I mean, that took so damn long. I guess on the upside, though, I got a lot of clay and a lot of worms out of the deal. So, you know, can't complain too much about that. But anyway, I'll meet you back at the trader. All right, what you got, dude? You did it. Great job. Oh, uh, well, we can, get a, <laughs> we can get a shovel to replace the wood we broke, even though it was a steel shovel. Um, let's see. That's worth 313 That's worth 444 I don't need antibiotics. I think I'm going to take this, though, because I can actually make, like, light blue level shovels. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go for this one and get the, the bank. Okay, so let's uh, go back to your inventory, and we're going to sell these right back to you. I'm going to sell those back to you. And you want some clay, dude? Yeah, he does. Okay. So you want some worms? No, actually, I'm not going to sell the worms to him. Uh, all right, let's see. I don't think he's got any more tier two jobs um, in range, so I guess we'll just take the one to the north. You think you can help me with a problem? All right, guys, we are here. And uh, have I done this house before? Probably. Doesn't look immediately familiar though. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a retrieve, the supplies quest. And because, you know, time is short and we can't really double loot anyways for that matter, so let's just get on this. Let's try and be a little more careful this time, too. We got we got to respect this mod a little more than we have. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, you never know what's going to happen in reverse, man. Never know. Uh, let's go directly for the, Wow. That's kind of a cool looking pool area back there. Let's go directly for the satchel so, just so we can get that out of the way and then we'll worry about the fat loots and everything else later. Um, I need some uh, tough guy sunglasses actually. This is a neat place. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever been here before. Th this probably isn't a vanilla POI either. I'm thinking. So the satchel's through here. I think we might fudge a little bit and just cut through the wall. Only because, you know, again, it's getting really late and I want to make sure I complete the quest before nightfall. All right, there's a Darlene. See if we can get her attention without getting everybody else's attention. There's also, I think, a biker there. Okay, she'll bleed out. All right, let's also grab, um, yeah, give me the crossbow. This guy here. That might be an egger boot. Who knows, though? What? <laughs> yeah, oh, that is the biker. Here, we can get to his head from here. Nice. All right, come at me, bro. Okay, 
Let's um cut into here. Get this thing ready. Okay, satchel's over here. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay. That's the nice thing about doing these fetch quests is that once you get the satchel, then you don't have to worry about sticking around if it's not uh, feasible to do so. Okay. Now, uh, again, because time is really short, let's uh, focus on seeing if we can figure out where the fat loots are. I am, again, I'm very unfamiliar with this place, so... I really don't know where it is. My guess is maybe upstairs, but let's just um, keep looking around for that. I'm going to chuck stuff that we don't absolutely need to be carrying right now. Um, <clears throat> normally, I check the kitchen for jars and stuff, but um, we, need to, we need to skedaddle here. Okay, so... This doesn't really go anywhere else. Is this, um, yeah, that's nothing. Okay, where would we normally suppo supposed to go? I don't know. There's no door there. Let's go look outside here. We'll check this just in case, on the off chance, the game decides to give us a backpack upgrade. Yeah, like that's going to happen, right? I think we'll take those and sell them. Oh, boy. Backyards can often mean dogs. Case in point. There's a, a walkway thing there, too. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go back out here. My guess is our destination is going to be on the roof. But I don't know that for sure. Let's take... Uh, uh, poke our heads in here real quick and take a look-see. Okay, um... We could tag janitor. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. There might be more Zeeks in here. Let's put these on. There's a Ronnie McD. Oh! Okay. And he's feral. That's okay. If it bleeds, you can kill it. At least that's how the saying goes. Okay, let's take a quick peek in here. We might as well check the car because you never know what you might find in a car. Uh, yeah, it's not bad stuff, actually. Can't complain about that. That's really good stuff. What's this, a gun repair? Nice. Yeah, I'll take it. Loot's getting better, guys. Loot's getting better. All right, Shamadoodle's not bad. Uh, we will scrap-a-doodle this and this and take the sewing kit. Is this a thing? It's a thing with nothing in it. What's in here? Well, this is the back side of a closet. That's not even a closet at all. That's sneaky looking. All right, let's check this for the chance of a backpack upgrade. We found one. I can't believe it. We actually found one, you guys. Oh, man, I've I, I've just had like 
The absolute worst freaking luck in the world, then. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm happy that that we actually found one because then that means it's actually still working then. Because I was just about ready to spawn that shit in, you know? Uh, I don't trust the floor in here. Let's check these bookshelves. We are running out of time, man. Running out of time. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's go back through here. Uh, we should really check these shelves because sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff in this. Case in point. Um, all right. Let's, uh... Oops, car parts box. What we need is a, is a crowbar. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's just see where these stairs go. There's a duffel bag, backpack thing there. Oh boy, I don't like the looks of this. It looks like one of the Apache thingamadoodles. See, I guess what we could do is, I mean, assuming that, there's no other way up here. We could just bust out these stairs. My axe is just about gone too. Okay, so that should prevent anything from down below pathing up to us. But if we run into any Zeke's after hours up here, they're still going to be running, so we'll have to deal with them. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here... What the hell? Zombie Exploder. Uh... What happens if I shoot him in the head? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Good lord. Did he have some serious armor on or what? Oh my goodness. I gotta go back and look at the video, but didn't I hit him like at least twice at point blank range? That's some destruction there. Holy crap. <laughs> Note to self, man. Exploding zombie, very dangerous. I mean, he only had, he had really low health, but he wasn't, uh, he was like just shrugging off my shotgun blast. All right, here, let's um, let's get up here. They're gonna run here in in five minutes. Um, I can't. There we go. Okay. Let's get our frames back. Oh, okay. It is now night time, and we need to be super careful. I hope we don't run into any more of the zombies like that. Goodness. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, we're getting kind of encumbered, so we're going to chuck those. We're going to chuck those. We can make them easy. We're going to chuck the cloth, because I'm not really planning on going back. Uh, you know, going back down at this point. Apache chest, probably. Nope. Um, I do have steroids, right? Steroids, steroids. Oh, shit. You know what? I think I used the stupid 
put everything in the box button and put my steroids away. Damn it. Okay. We need to do extremely selective looting here because, uh, you know, if it's food or drink, we're taking it. Or jars. But, you know, if we do manage to make it to the fat loots in one piece, we got to get that out of here too. I do not trust the floor in this place. That could be fat loots over there. I'm just going to eat all this fish because it'll free us up another slot and we're going to need damn near all of it anyways. All right, let's put these down here. Uh, we don't need this wood either, by the way. Let's chuck that. Nice and quiet. That's just a corpse. Wait, is it? I think it is. He's laying down kind of interesting. In an interesting way. Can we trust this floor? There, let's do this. Let's just double check. I think that's a corpse, but yeah, it is. Okay. We got to get the shotgun repaired when we get back to the base. Oh, not good. Not good, not good. Okay, time to go. Screw the fat loots. We don't want to die. <laughs> that was a lot of Zika Roos. Okay, well, I guess that is it for today, my friends. So I'm going to go back to... How do I get out of here? I'm going to go back to the base. Um, check the garden, and if it's ready to go, harvest that. And if it's not, then, you know, just kind of continue working on the... How did I get over here? I think it was from this way. Uh, just, you know, keep working on the uh, horde base. Digging up more stone. So, I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode. It's day 60. We still have three more days, so probably we'll continue just to do more POIs. Um, and continue, you know, getting jars... Leveling up, getting all the good stuff that we need to get. You've made my day, and here is your payment. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.